Cold calling is extremely hard, and why is that? You could be an introvert, you could be an extrovert, but cold calling for your business, if you are in the social media marketing agency, or if you run your own product, if you're alone, you're not an agency, but you're still trying to get clients, cold calling could be one of the hardest things to do in the business, and why is that? Well, you need to be very, very ruthless and at the same time you need to be easy with yourself and why am i saying this because you're gonna get rejected most times you're going to get rejected it is super easy to make a list of clients and i've showed you on my channel before go and check out my oldest video if you want to know how you're able to find clients how you're able to find emails phone numbers within a matter of you know two hours you're able to get 200 contacts but it is extremely hard to get rejected, especially if you're at the beginning, but also if you are a couple of years into it. I'm a couple of years into it. I do cold calling on a daily basis. And now with the type of people that I'm going to look for, which are dentists, it is very, very easy to get rejected. And why is that? Well, it is because, first of all, you are talking to a secretary. You're not talking to the boss. So the secretary could either be, oh, you're wasting my time. So I don't want to hear about it. Uh, I'm just gonna say that we're not interested or that we got somebody else talking to it or you know taking care of it but in reality I look at their social media pages they are utterly bad they've been left behind for a year and some people or some profession don't really want to know about social media because they never needed it and as a business like the dentist it's hard to get into it even though a couple of clients as a dentist could really sort out your economical status you can charge them anywhere from 700 to 2000 dollars depending on which are the clients so one client could already make you a monthly living two clients three clients even better but it is very hard for them to accept your offer because they don't really need social media they go word of mouth for client and in that topic of the word of mouth i want to know your opinion and i want to know your thoughts on which clients you had the easiest or the hardest time to work with let me know down in the comments below what you think are good cold calling clients what do you, who are people that are going to listen to you and let me know down in the comments below your thoughts but in my opinion people that are going to listen to you are going to be business owner it is hard but i still do it because i still want to get clients within that niche it is you know for example, before I, as you know, in my channel, I've talked about it, subscribe if you are not subscribed and leave a like. I work with ballet schools and ballet schools are one of those businesses which is a very particular niche for itself. And if you're contacting them, you're contacting 99% of the time, unless you're going for a big, big school like the Harvard of Ballet or something like that, you're gonna contact the secretary. But most of the time you have direct access to the CEO, to the business owner, to the ballet school owners. And as we've seen from the past video, the last one that I published on this page, if you go and look, instead of dentists on Facebook where you're able to find the phone number and the email, if you look for ballet school, you're able to find the ballet school's phone number and the phone number that you find on Facebook or Google page is the owner's one because they don't have such a big reality when they need one or two assistant to book appointment while the boss is working. So that's why for that type of businesses it did work a little better in a way that it worked in more one-on-one -on -one with the CEO, with the boss and how to perfect their business and why it is very likely to succeed instead or compared to calling a business that has a secretary or somebody talking for them. For example, I was talking today, I could call about 50 dentists today, and a lot of them, you know, the secretary, either some of them were like, look, realistically, I am not in charge of this, so uh, either call on Monday, call on Tuesday when the boss is here, or send us an email and the owner will look at it. If he's interested, he will reply to you, which is a great response because you're taking a one step forward. A lot of them though, being dentists, and it's not because they are princes, it's not because they are divas, it is simply because the secretary doesn't know the economical side of things and doesn't know whether or not the CEO would like, the boss of the studio would like to go and expand on social media, would like to know more about social media advertisement, would like to know more about posting every other day or every day, as well as Google reviews, which are super important and is one of the things that I always suggest to the clients to do. Go on Google get reviews from your client because it is very important in your set of things, in your possibility to be ranked. If you're looking for ballet school in Milano, you're looking for dentist in Milano, 
The first one most likely that are gonna rank up on Google are the Google reviews and if you have a good score on the Google reviews it is very much appreciated from the Google side and will suggest you way more. People will trust you way more because you were able to go and see that there are Google reviews in place. So talking to clients and seeing which clients are better or best and which are not that good in my opinion I you know I want to give you this and let me know in the comments your thoughts but it is who doesn't have a secretary who you can you know reach as the CEO itself and yes in my group in my telegram group which I talked to you about at the beginning of the video we talk about how we're able to go to get the CEO boss but the thing is unless you are a multi-million dollar multi-billion dollar agency social media agency and you run a lot of clients therefore you have a network which is good enough to get hey do you have the phone number of this boss to your friend? If you run a small reality, whether it's 5, 10 clients, doesn't matter how much you make a month with 10 or 15 clients, but if you do not have that straight connection, it is very hard and you have to work through and you have to pass through what the secretary could ask you or how could you overcome the secretary. A lot of the time, you know, when I present myself to the phone call, we talked about it in the last video, I showcase myself and I'm, I just call them and I like straight up. Hello, my name is Lorenzo. I'm not calling to get an appointment. And honestly, I am calling you to, as I would like to provide you with my service for the social media. And I would like to know if you're the person that I could talk to and if you're the person in charge, which I could talk to and could be interested to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting as I call the one around my area in Milano, or if you would like to have a Zoom call. The secretary, it is, and you know, if you watch this video, whether you've done it or not, whether you know somebody that done it or not, you can ask them. But a lot of them will say, we're not interested, even though they don't know. You might just be bothering them. You might just tell them, hey, this is not going uh, well. This is, uh, you know, I don't know what to say. Or you're bothering me. Maybe I'm having a coffee. Maybe I'm having some lunch. I don't want to waste three minutes of my time. I already spent 40 seconds on the phone. I don't want to waste any more minutes. So. It is very hard to do the cold calling, yet it is the most effective way if you're able to reach the CEO, whether the, you know, for example, some of the dentists, some of the studios in the dentist that I've called, they said, uh, you know, I cannot give you an answer straight up. So they were honest. They were like, I don't know. I cannot give you an answer. Please call back on Monday or please call back on Tuesday, call back on Wednesday, call back during the another day because the boss will be here on the other day and he will provide you with the answer so it is very you know there is a very different scale on the side of things and cold calling is hard cold email is very easy you copy and paste the same one you change the name of who you're sending it to maybe you send a little bit of the same one but maybe you you bring up their analytics so everything has to be a little bit different but at the end of the day, cold emailing, it's easy. I did get some answers from the cold email to the dentist as well. And their answer to that was, I talked to the boss and the boss said that they're not interested, but at least somehow you hope that that is true and that they did talk to the boss, to the owner of the studio, and maybe they will contact you back. At least they have your contact, whether you call them, whether you call email them or cold call them, they do have your contact. So. It is very hard, it is extremely frustrating to just be rejected day in and day out. Every day you are rejected, your social media presence is rejected. They make money, dentists are rich, we know that, but they do not want to go and push into what social media is and social media could do for them, which is what you have to portray to them, either on the phone call or on the email or on the Zoom meeting, whatever you're doing. If you can, go and do face-to-face -face once, you know, on the email, if they are in Milano, where I'm from. I will write to them, hey, uh, hey, I can come to the studio, we can meet face to face, so you can give a face to the person that's talking to you right now. And so it depends how you go and interact with them, but cold calling, it is very, very hard, very frustrating, very, you know, left there. You're just, yes, no, we're not interested. They just shut the phone on your face. So it really depends who you go and take, who you pick, and who is there for it to be picked. If you're a dentist, a lawyer, a cleaning service, whatever. It is quite tough and it is quite hard to deal with this. But don't give up. Keep on going forward. You know, call, call, call. You call 200 clients, you get one. That's already one client. Now, doesn't matter if you call 200 dentists, 300 dentists, the whole dentist. If you get one client, from the one client, you can go back, you can call, 
the previous dentist and said, hey, I've had experience with this dental studio. These are the results. I would like to work with you now. I, you know, I like to offer one month for free, the first month for free, and then lock them up on a three month period with big entities like this. I know in my previous video, I've said that I do not have lockup periods, but because ballet school are cheaper and you need to charge them less and they like the mobility of the one month. But if I'm with a dentist or with any other rich studio, rich personality, rich person, rich owner, give them one month for free, but then lock them up for three months later. So I can get the three months going one month for free where I push them. I publish every day. We go for the advertisement on their expenses, of course and then the next two months are covered. That is my technique. Let me know your technique down in the comments below. With that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you all in tomorrow's video. Take care, have a good one, ciao guys.